You want me to do what with a harmonica? Hey, Miss Lindy, how's it going? Martin, look at this desk. The AP test is in like four days. I do not have time for you right now. You seem stressed. We should try some behavioral therapy. No, what I need is a Coke. If you take one sip of that Coke, Miss Lindy, I will throw this AP US history book clear across the room. Martin I, if you do not get out of my classroom right now, I'm gonna need a real drink. Oh, that pain. Hey, Miss Sims, where's Jerome? It's Jerome. I've told you that a thousand times. It is out of the Bible. Oh, sorry guys, that's my daughter. She's on a mission right now in Seattle. Hello, Alex, how are you? Really? Oh, this is our only time to get to talk once a week. Okay, bye. So, I'm new here, what do I do? Do you know how to pronounce my name? Um, Lexis... No, <laughs> I don't. Uh, try again. Um, Alexis Tuya. Hey, sure. Hey, Grandma, well, how's it going? Hey, it's good. How is your chanting doing? I'm going to get us to not get me a little set for your Oh, we're doing good. I hope they get it. It'll be fine. We'll, you'll be fine enough to put yourself right in. Oh, my God. What? Are you okay? I just ran out of crackers. I'm sorry. Can you remind me just a little bit of crackers? Sure. Hey, Connor, how you doing? Mm -hmm. Hey, look, other than that, we did it right from the get-go. You gotta get straight to it, okay? Yes, sir. Look, you messed up a lot. Really good. We gotta get the ball from right here and all the way to over there, like I told you in the game, okay? Mm -hmm. All right, other than that, you did good. Remember, it's a huddle day. Girls, go to the auditorium. Guys, go to the cafeteria. It's a glorious 62 degrees, so go outside for lunch today. Have a great Grizzly Day. Okay, 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 okay. My favorite memory at Northside was beating Southside two years in a row. I agree with that. That was fun. I was in the student section. It was pretty. It was pretty lit. I mean, lit. Yeah. yeah. It always feels good to go to the enemy's house, burn it down. Yeah. It's on their ashes. All the competitions I've been to, you know, seeing like robotics and like seeing all the tournaments that we've had Grizzly Gamers, you know, seeing people come out and like be together and play together and enjoy what they do. Yeah, well he said, that's my favorite memory too. The bear fair because there's a whole bunch of activities and games and not to mention the free food and drinks. Mm -hmm. Of course I was in the food stands all the time. Third quarter. Um, probably just like all the tennis bus rides because those are always really fun. Like the football and basketball games, and uh, like this, like even though I don't play basketball, the state playoffs were fun to watch for basketball. Probably going to state twice for bowling. Uh, ten was it ninth grade? No, tenth grade and twelfth grade. Yeah. Being a rival team, I guess, because at the beginning, like to be honest, I really didn't care about anybody. Like only in your Rudy and Baby <laughs> and, and a few other people, but. I really didn't care to anybody, I just thought, oh, it doesn't really matter to me. So I just went to talk to really corn city and just live with them. 
But then I have to start opening up with them. Like, I get scared for them to run out. <laughs> My most embarrassing memory, uh, there were multiple ones, which was falling up the stairs, because I'm clumsy. Not down the stairs, up the stairs. <laughs> what is it? You said falling up the stairs. Falling, no, I did fall up the stairs. Oh, you fell upwards? Yeah, like I wasn't paying attention, and I like took the step and slipped. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Oh, my, my most embarrassing memory, uh, when I wrestled sophomore year, I wore my, my singlet backwards. So I kind of looked like a fool, but I still won the match. I haven't really been embarrassed. Um, I take that back. Um, now that I'm thinking about it, I was in uh, theater, right? Yeah, I mean, I don't wear makeup, but I was forced to for the play. I don't think anyone cared, but for me, it was like, they covered me, made me look like a freaking elf. <laughs> what I look like. That was bad. Um, tripping up the stairs, that's like really common. But it's also really awkward, you know, it's like for something that's so common, it's still really awkward. And um, yeah, that's happened to me a couple times. Mine's whenever I walk in the wrong class, period. Yeah, that's yeah, I walk into my wrong, the wrong science class almost all the time. Yeah. It was my sophomore year. We were practicing anchoring with, um, oh God, I already forgot his name, the old TV teacher. Oh, oh Mr. Walmart. Oh my God, I'm such a terrible person. Um, we were practicing anchoring with Mr. Womack our sophomore year. I was sitting on the set, and um, I get up, and I think I had him seventh period, so it was after school, and I somebody pointed out how I had gum on the back of my leg from the seat, so uh, I remember that. That was pretty embarrassing. It ought to be sometime during um, GRGC, now I think about it. It was hey, I was calling, I was calling a, 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 a command, and then. Uh, my voice kind of squeaked. <laughs> it, was, it, it, it reminded me of Jordan when you were talking about it. It was like, hey! And then I was like, and then everybody looked at me like, and I, got my, I got really red. So I don't know if I, that, that thing that's my most special moment. Some challenges for me were managing my time between like football and my classes and other things. Uh, I'll write on what Alan said, yeah. Pretty much managing, pretty much managing uh, football, friends, academics, all that together. Yeah. My, my biggest challenge was probably junior year, just like blend, settling into the new environment, because I moved here from Boston, I think, yeah. So junior year was like a really foreign environment. Um, had a lot of adjusting to do. I wasn't used to the school setup. I got lost like this all the first two weeks, even though now I know it's really simple. But um, it, up there was backwards and there were four stories. Um, so that took a while to get, that took some getting used to. But uh, other than that, like challenge wise, it's been, um, it's been pretty powerful for the course. Yeah. Waking up to get to school. Okay. That's a hard one. Uh, probably A push. It's probably one of the hardest classes because I was lazy. Definitely, um, only keeping up with homework. Homework is one of the things, and then bouncing around the job, friends, mm -hmm. and you know, it was pretty much stressful whenever you would just come with a bunch of homework, but then again, you have work the same <laughs> night, and you couldn't really do much at the same time. So, yeah. Well, mine was like Louis said, homework. And the other one was preparing for ACT because I've been trying to get a high score. <laughs> be keeping my grades up and not just having senioritis because I've already had that since kindergarten. First day I walked in, they're like, here's a coloring sheet. I said, nope, I ain't doing this. Senioritis, but you will. Alright. Um, yeah, probably just like trying to stay involved, like trying to balance everything between like extracurricular activities and grades and just like having fun with friends and going to like basketball games and things like that was always a challenge just because you wanted to do so much but you didn't like have the time. I would have told my sophomore self to grow my hair out as soon as I started Northside because like at Trinity we weren't allowed to have long hair. I mean just like look at all this. It's beautiful.
beautiful. So, uh, I would have just told myself to relax and enjoy the ride. Yeah, I don't. I I probably would have said something pretty similar because <laughs> um, I got just mentioned. The sophomore to junior year was on a smooth transition, so I would have told sophomore me to be like, hey, start like mentally preparing for a pretty big change because I was pretty set in my ways. Um, wasn't, wasn't really anticipating the uh, shock wave that was about to be going on. So uh, yeah, that probably would be what I told myself. Stop, listen. Look around you right now. Everything you do, every action, every little tiny moment, involvement will change you in the future. You do not understand how complex this will be. Yeah, every small thing counts. Don't be lame. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, don't, don't be lazy in your classes. Actually get stuff done and listen. What I really like about Northside is that the teachers are willing to help you. The, the kids are like what other people say they are in Southside. They say that we're Northside, we're all about drugs and stuff and gangs and fights all the time, but we're really not. And I like that because we're all just a big family. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah, I, I like the fact that you can just kind of like be yourself and join a lot of things that really suit your personality and your interests. Um, and yeah, like it's not anything I expected it to be like. I expected it to like get beat up all the time and stuff, or like be scared, but it's actually really fun. Senior year, it was the best of times. It was the worst of times. More better than worse. But for me, senior year has been nothing but delightful. I've had some controversies, some negativity towards me. But I believe I've become a better person. And therefore, I am a better person. So, here's the senior year. My senior year, like, in a word, was surreal. It's kind of weird knowing that. I was I was only here for two years, and now I'm, already, I'm taking off back to where I came from. I met all these people, and now it's likely I'm not going to see them again. And I'm probably not going to keep in touch with a lot of them. Uh, so it's been kind of like I'm trying to I'm trying to take it as slow as I can, maybe make some of the more important moments last. But like the more you do that, the fa it seems like the faster they go by. So it's like this year has just been rushing by, and I'm just at this point, you know, I'm just looking forward to making that like that big transition, getting getting all my college stuff, you know. You just said everything. What was your senior year like, man? Senior, senior year? My senior year was dang awesome. Yeah. Bro, all the stuff you done, you remember that like like the interception that didn't like mean anything for you when you was yeah it's yeah it's, stuff like that. You it's know? been like, awesome. Uh, I'll remember everything from weekend adventures to Friday nights on the field to just seeing you guys every day, and I'll remember it as one of the best times of my life. You know who I'm gonna miss especially? Who? You. First row, first row table. <laughs> you know how I'm gonna miss the most? You. Everybody, look at the first row. <laughs> Last table on the right. Very front. That's who I'm gonna miss the most. Me too. Me. That, who are you gonna miss the most? Time. You have to call exactly what table, what chair. <laughs> yeah. Um, third row down. It's very center. <laughs> third chair on the left. You and me, we was cool. You know, I appreciate that. <laughs> Uh, we're good. <laughs> we're good. Yeah. That's I mean, good. I'm gonna miss everybody in that room, but front row to the right, first chair, I'm gonna miss you. <laughs> <laughs> Senior year has been like bittersweet. Um, knowing that all of the people that you are really close with, because of you know circumstances that you're not really uh, control of. Uh, you could possibly lose those friendships or not be as close as you were before and it's, you know, it's kind of like, dang, bro, like, really? But, um, it's always uh, a good thing to know that somebody is doing well in their life and whatnot and 
doing whatever they can to have a better future, like going to college and military and stuff like that. But yeah, it's also sad too. So it's kind of like a double-edged sword. Or Stressful, anxiety, stressful, stressful, emotional, stressful. relieving, <laughs> anxiety. Oh, and did I mention stressful? Yeah. Because it is stressful. I'm going to go last on this one. It's been fun. Um, I apologize for being so obnoxious and annoying, but that's just like me, so I'm probably not going to go to school with any of y'all, so. I wasn't depressing, what are you talking about? It's a, it's a sincere apology to him. I would like to wish you guys the best in whatever your future endeavors are, and let you know that I had a lot of fun. Right. Um, what I would tell y'all in terms of, because we're probably, like he said, we're probably not going to see each other after this. Um, do what makes you happy. Um, don't let people tell you that success is based on how much money you get or how like, prestigious a college you go to. You don't have to do crazy things to be successful. As long as you're doing what makes you happy right. and you're making the world like a generally better place, you're doing good. It's all about having fun and enjoying the ride. Yes, but not to the detriment of others. Exactly. Yeah. Having fun. Have fun with life. Be successful. Do what you want to do, but don't do. Don't have too much fun. Like. Yeah. Keep on doing what you're doing. Be successful in life. I'm not successful in life, but so maybe you can be, or maybe I will be. Heck, I'm probably gonna be famous. You should remember my name. All right, senior class. This is it. Uh, have fun with life, try not to ruin it. Yep, go ahead. Alright, yeah. Take, up, take the opportunities that you are given to you in life and seize them. Be successful and do what you want to do. Make the good money and make a name for yourself. And just always remember my... Yeah. Enjoy life. That's deep. We only have one. And enjoy it. It's been pretty good. That's about it. Short and sweet. Yeah, pretty good year with all of you guys. We had some some drama last year with Fresh for Prez, but we came through it. We came together as a class. Color Wars was a little heated. It's had only some, been we had one some day. fights. It's only been one day of Color Wars. Shut up. And we had some fights and stuff during that, but it was, it's been a pretty good year. Ah, uh, bro, we finally made it, G. <laughs> we freaking finally made it, bro. I'm done. Like, I'm done. Like, I'm glad I could be going to college. And let's just, you know, live up. Prom. Um, you know, live up prom, man. Just, I used to cherish these last few days in high school because everything else would be different. We all going to college, you know, we got to get our stuff together. Just but, don't uh, be stupid. Don't be stupid, yeah. <laughs> just you know, don't be stupid. Finally made it, you know. Just think about that. Yeah, it's been a crazy long ride through school, and so. Here's to, I guess, new people, new adventures. Okay, closing statement, guys. Uh, peace, love, and positivity to all of you. Don't bully, and uh, just be kind of and uh, catch you on the flip. So, um, I guess my closing statement would be, here's a good piece of advice. Don't be a jerk, because just don't do it. And it's not going to get you very far in life, man. That doesn't make you the bigger, better person. And then you never know if they're going to be your boss. Mm -hmm. Sure. Um, mine is, um, I actually have a name. I'm not just the girl on the news because I've been stopped so many times at my job. Are you the girl from the news? Oh my god. It actually happens. But, um, I guess, like she said, be kind to one another because like I said, you never know who's going to be your boss. And they can get back at you for stuff you've done to them like 20 years ago. So. Mm -hmm. My closing statement is... Um, <laughs> I don't have anything, right?